Another part of my journey that I want to document is I've been looking at um, power stations to power my fridge and power items in the in the um, in the rig. Yeah, thank you so much, bro. So, what you I appreciate it, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's me. Whoa, that's me. This is my second time ordering a power station. The last one I ordered never did come, even though they said they delivered it. We straight now. There we go. Boom. That's the app you gotta download right there. Guess that's to keep it cool. Power pack, boom, car, regular plug. This right here is for solar panels. It's charging on the top, light on the back. That's it from the front. My light working. This brick is loud when charging it up, so we're gonna check it out. This doesn't sound that loud, but people say it's loud to them, so. But dude, we good to go. Look at that. And it does work while you're charging it, as you can see. Dude, as I'm getting ready for my um, cross track, cross trip journey, dude, I have to get my shit together and be prepared to leave, right? So, I got another house to go visit today. We're gonna see what that look like. But, man, let me tell you something. My shit, fridge, toilet, power station, safe is secured. Dude, my shit is fitting perfectly like it's like fitting like a jigsaw puzzle. And not to mention my interior light so I don't have to have my car on in the, at night. I can just use my light. Dude, this shit is fitting perfectly, dude. Again, like I said, I got my light. This is going to be my interior light so I can keep my car off at night and no one will know there's somebody in my car. Since I have my power station fully charged up, I'm going to leave my safe and my fridge plugged in 24 hours and see how long it takes for it to totally discharge. Let's see what we got so far on my how much it's using right now as far as output 28 all right let's saw 20 20 of my power station gone so i'm assuming since we're close to 12 o'clock midnight and we started at 12 45 that it should be close to like 50 percent right now shouldn't be over it let's see Here's, here we are. Let's see where we're at. Mmm. Doesn't appear to be using anything, but that's where we're at right now. So we're doing pretty good. And as you can see, the fridge is still. You can't, I don't think you can really see. There you go. The fridge is still plugged up. And. See, the fridge is still plugged up. My safe is still on. See the lights? So, all right. We're at about 60%, it says. So, we're doing pretty good, man. Sorry about that. We're doing pretty good, man. <laughs> that is actually really good for almost 12 hours. So, I'll let you on the way. So, at 12.30 today, I went to look at the the power station um, and here are the results the power station was still at 60% which is expected because it was really cold last night it was like in the low 30s last night and my fridge is in eco mode and it only has to get up to 32 degrees and so since when I left it it was already at like 31 I would expect the um, the power station not to really use that much energy 
more have much energy use because the fridge ain't gonna really cut on if it's cold outside so we'll really get back to testing how well the uh, power station do with uh, taking energy and if it gets a full 24 hour cycle off the fridge um, but even though we only got to use it for seven hours at night while I'm asleep eight hours while I'm asleep all right but let me tell you about this though y'all know about the lights man how it took three months to get the lights two to three two to three months I'm gonna try and be generous it took two to three months to get lights into my shop area right and so that's one of the main reasons I'm moving because you know I couldn't perform my work like I needed to with my shop lights out and you know it is what it is but let me tell y'all this joke gonna hit me up about the wash tub downstairs let me tell y'all this story people be out here trying to be slick trying to count your money and shit my landlord came to me on some weird ass bullshit talking about oh yeah uh it ain't enough that you took three months to put some lights some shop lights up in my establishment but then you come telling me talking about well um i wanted to have the person living downstairs i was like you ain't gonna have somebody living off of my um lights gas and heat you, and let me know when you um separate that shit oh well don't you get uh she like don't you get a um discount from the government because you you was um you're a veteran I'm like, even if I did get a discount from the government, which I don't. I'm like, dude, what type of shit is what what type of business is that yours? And why would I be willing to pay somebody else's bills? That don't make no sense. But here, look, check this out. She's like, well, you gonna have to pay me for this because I had to put this up in the basement because of the washer and dryer. You left the um washing tub, you know what a washing tub is, down in the basement in an unworking condition. I was like, I had to disconnect the faucet down there to connect my hot end cold water up to my to my um washer. What are you talking about? And once I leave, I'm just gonna connect it back and put the faucet back on there. Well I, I wanted it done professionally. You got a trick coming on the 20th though. I'll tell you that much.